Well, hello and welcome back to Cedarport Homestead. We're playing a little game called Things I Should Have Done Last Week. So I've got to get a chicken tractor built for our grow out pen for the chickens that we're growing because they are now in the rabbit tractor that we grow our rabbits out in and our rabbits are needing to be weaned to move out to the tractor so we need to move the chickens over to the chicken tractor because I'm also under the gun that we have a goat that's going to give birth here in the next days, maybe week. Hopefully I got at least two to three weeks left. We're praying because I've got to get this goat shed behind me converted over to a milk shed so we can start milking our goats as well. We have a lot to do. So today we're going to try to get this chicken tractor knocked out and I'm going to show you how we're going to make this to where it's a conversion between a grow out for these future layers and how we're going to use it for our meat birds that we're going to bring in later this summer. Stick around because we've got to go to the lumber yard. If you've seen any of our previous build videos, you know that sometimes I get projects in my head and we just kind of make it happen. Well, today I spent a little extra time and I came up with plans and a cut list. So if one's gonna go off the rails, it'll probably be this one. So it'd be interesting to stick around and find out how it comes together. But we're here in the shop today because it is 90 plus degrees outside and I am gonna suck up some of this AC while I'm getting this build done. Here we go. Hey, welcome to day two in the shop. We've got a lot of this chicken tractor knocked out yesterday. I had to rework how we're gonna do the roof a little bit because I just didn't like how I had drawn that up. So I thought about that and I believe I have a plan. We're gonna see if it comes out in fruition, but stick around, we are gonna get this thing moved out on the grass with our chickens in it by this evening. Here we go.
Ashton, it's your turn. Uh, I accuse Colonel Mustard with the candlestick in the lounge. <laughs> in the lounge? In the lounge. <laughs> I don't know that one. Alright. I win. No! Stand candlestick, lounge, and a lounge. Alright. Alright. Fun, but I gotta get back to work. <laughs> Bye. Back to school. <laughs> back to work. We'll play later. Very well. I know who did it. You do? And furthermore, I'm going to tell you how it was all done. Well, I'm back in the shop after lunch. As you saw, I'm licking my wounds from having my butt kicked by my youngest daughter, Ashlyn, at a game of Clue. But we are going to get this chicken tractor knocked out and finished. But I can't do that talking with you, so I gotta get back to work. What you doing? Going to more hay. Think I could get your help with something? Oh, yeah. What you, do you want? Did you bring your strong back? Yeah. We got to move a pin. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Stand by. I got an idea. I'm always waiting on him. Well, that's pretty snazzy. <laughs> well built. I'm so, why didn't that get on camera? I think it did. Uh, I don't think. <laughs> what? Thought it was coming off. Uh -oh. Heck yeah, I'm out of breath. <laughs> All right, you think you can do it? You want try me to, to pull, pull it? Yeah, try to pull it forward. You always make these so long. Oh, you make them too long for me. So it needs tires? Yes. Okay. Well. So, as of right now, if you are not home, they will just stay. <laughs> How about that? That'll work. Until you put tires on. Welcome to our special edition of Cribs Chicken Edition. Welcome to our new chicken run.
grab one, I guess. If you can. You gonna fly out. No, 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 no. Chicken escapes from Tweedy's farm. <laughs> they miss you. Yes, they do. Spoiled rotten. Do we need to put these on any kind of block or anything? Nope, we'll just put them on the ground. The next day. I'm all finished up with the chicken tractor build. We were able to move it this morning without too many hangups. We only got one chicken caught uh, in the back, but as we move that every single day, they're going to train themselves to move up to that fresh salad bar every single day. This worked a whole lot better than the rabbit tractor we had these guys in that had the cattle panel flooring that was catching their feet. So this is gonna work out a whole lot better for these layers before they can move in with our established flock. But this design was specifically made for the meat birds we're going to be bringing in later this summer. I plan on running 12 to 15 birds in this at a time, and that is more than enough for us on this backyard homestead if we do that just a couple times a year. So if you like this build and you like our content, make sure you subscribe, give us a thumbs up, hit that notification bell so you're notified when we come out with new content, and we will see you on our next video.